Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. So, we are going to do a medium run in the wild next, because there's Caregiver's Convention as a reward, and that will make the Sanitarium free. And there's also a plus two speed cloak, which I definitely wouldn't mind. And we got the Shieldbreaker again, so there's a Shieldbreaker here. We also got a Flagellant, a Musketeer, which is basically an Herbalist, and a Vestal. So, let's go then, shall we? What do we want to bring with us? I would say one or two medicinal herbs, some anti-venom, a bandage or two, and obviously food and torches. It's a medium dungeon, so I would say at least 16. Let's get more. Food is fairly cheap. 20 food is definitely going to be enough. We'll get two skeleton keys. And how many shovels do we want? Let's get at least three shovels. Alright, and that will do, I think. Do we need holy water for this one? Yeah, there's the pristine fountain, which needs holy water. There's the troubling effigy, which needs holy water. Alright. That's a lot of inventory space. Already used up. Alright, let's go. Our land is so, how about the layout? And let's take a look. Must be recovered. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it's definitely fine. No choice has to be made in here. Alright then. Yeah, we got a map, that's super useful. But he's right, it's better than a trap. Speaking of traps, who has the highest trap disarm anyway? It's probably going to be like 30%. Yep. It's 20% even. Okay. Well, let's move on. And, yep, yeah, here's Troubling Effigy. So, we can get a random positive quirk from this. If we use Holy Water. I guess that's fine. On a hole. On the Shield Breaker. What did we get? Plus 6% crit if health is below 50%. That would have been better for the Flagellant, but alright. Let's move on. First fight. Ectoplasm and Acolytes. Right. And we got pulled to the front right away. That is not so great. Okay then. Well, we can move forward with the Shield Breaker. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's see. What's the difference here? Oh yeah, this skill bypasses guard. There's no guard to bypass right now, so we won't be using that. We got 12% chance to crit. Okay, and that moves their ballist back slightly. We can try to stun one. Only 25% stun resist. Here, stunned. And yeah, now I have to move unfortunately, which is fine. And now we can take a shot. Let's finish off the stunned guy. Here, done. No problem. Nice dodging. Seriously? Yeah, alright, whatever. So, Pierce again, I think. We do have other skis, which is free blight damage per round, but that will also make us move backwards, and that's not something I want right now, because that would move the Vestal to the front. That's definitely not what we want. We should probably kill the ectoplasms before they merge into a big one. That's definitely a good idea. Increase our torch slightly. Yep, here's another one. We need to hurry up with that. Alright, people. And we still have to finish off the Acolyte. Not too excited about that. Yeah, kill the Ectoplasm first. We can handle a little bit of extra stress. I'm not expecting it to bleed, it has 60% bleed resist. Confidence 
But there, now it's down. Now we can kill the Acolyte. No problem. Goodbye. Alright, let's move on, shall we? We got a long way to go. Right, Rot uses medicinal herbs. There we go. And there's an obstacle ahead of us. We should probably reshuffle our group a little bit. Because this is not exactly optimal, to say the least. Here, shield breaker in the front. Oh, I didn't bring torches, did I? <laughs> I brought so much crap and I didn't bring torches. Hey, that's fine, we can do a dark run. Dark run is better for loot. I just haven't been doing it very much. But it's not that much harder, honestly, and we have a pretty strong group here. So first, the dog. If we can hit it. Yeah, not with the flagellant, I'm afraid. But we can push the skeletons back with backshot. Here. That works. I think we'll camp once our light level drops to zero, which is going to be soon. <laughs> we can still increase it slightly, because we have that skill, Dazzling Light. It does increase torch slightly. So about that dog. Might want to kill it. Resisted the blade, good. We only need one damage on that skeleton. We are only guaranteed to do three if we hit, so let's hit the skeleton. Are we at 50%? Nope, not yet. Alright, never mind then. Seriously? You missed again? Alright, whatever. That's better. That's much better. I think the dog will die. Yep. It will die from the bleed. Or from puncture. 1000 gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's move on then. We can rest soon. Maybe in the next room after this one. Our actual objective is to gather free medicines. So looks like that's one of them right here. And we got shuffled again. Not happy about that. Not at all. Well, I guess we have to move around that again. That's actually a pretty nasty group. Brawler, Scratcher and two artillery. Okay. We can handle that. So, how do we do this? Let's maybe land a Blight. 20% Blight resist. Yeah, on the Brawler. Here. That's going to be 3 damage per round. The Flagellant doesn't need healing, he can heal himself. What's their stun resist? 25%. Nice one. We should be fine. But give me my flagellant, thanks. Yeah, that is not great. Okay, what's the best way to handle this? He needs to heal himself, so that's going to be the one. 20% bleed resist. Here, plus 8 health. The bleed didn't land, unfortunately. I don't really want to heal him, because then he won't be able to use his skills that require him to be below 50% health. So I'd rather try to land another stun. Here, that will do. 24 light level. And push them back a little. There we go, to get the artillery closer to us. The brawler will die from the blight, we might as well ignore him now. So now we can move forward. Just like that. 
and then we can use the blight skill again if we want to maybe not on these guys they have what 60 percent blight resist might not be the best idea yeah i am going to do some healing now not with the herbalist obviously or rather musketeer same thing we're about to hit zero he should have decent death blow resist but obviously he's not immune to that as you might have guessed yeah let's heal him up a little bit he will still be below 50 percent so it's fine there we go there's the bleed five damage per round that is a lot of blight now i do have some anti-venom i don't think it's worth using it one more we can use some group heals before we finish this or we can finish it immediately all right whatever works for me so do we move one more room or do we rest right now also out of inventory space whoops well in that case i have to destroy something well no i don't i can use up the food here whatever works there all right let's rest right now a spark without kindling we still got 16 food so this is fine all right i cannot prevent nighttime item ambush unfortunately i don't have the skill for that what can we do remove bleed remove blight it's not that much damage uh, maybe this one yeah okay sure we remove that one plus 10 accuracy plus 10 dodge yeah we can use that what else remove disease i don't think anyone has a disease in here uh, oh wait is that a self skill yeah that's a self skill so he does not have a disease what else heal all companions for 20 percent yeah i don't really need that we can however remove some stress i think we're fine let's take minus 15 percent stress for somebody and we still got three more points who has the most stress that would be 17 here done so we might get ambushed In radiance, may we nope we will not oh yeah we will all right right we have the shield breaker here so this is our opportunity to get some more scales which are definitely nice to have we'll see how this goes we still got anti-venom that will definitely come in handy here okay so bleed nice one and then what smoke screen minus 15 accuracy minus 15 percent chance to create their debuff resist is 20 percent let's try to land that that is actually pretty nice there it landed so now they get minus 15 accuracy that should help us yep he's already getting some stress and that's with minus 25 percent stress for the next few battles i assume they have high blight resist yep fairly high all right do we need healing yeah all right let's heal a little bit even though he can heal himself i'm just going to play it safe Now we do have a skill that can distill that snake. Group heal. Come on. Yep, they are missing. The debuff is definitely helping. What's infuse? Yeah, blight. About to break. I'm probably going to remove that one. 
We can also break guard. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Let's land smoke screen again. Here. They missed us. More bleed. Yeah, we need to break that guard. So how about we do that? With puncture. Here, not guarded anymore. And he can't be guarded for two rounds. Nice. The snakes might die from the bleed. How's the bleed? Four damage for two rounds? They won't quite die, we still need a little bit of extra damage. But we are doing mostly fine. Might want to remove that blight with anti-venom. Because, yeah, that's 12 damage. Maybe a little bit too much. Let's finish off one of the Rattlers. They are almost dead. Now it's definitely dead. And yeah, let's remove that blight, shall we? Here. Gone. And then... This one will die. This one will not die just yet. Here, now it will. And now, we are one damage short still. Alright. It will die on the next turn after that, it's fine. These guys are actually fairly nasty. But the reward is nice. And that's not quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't even select a skill, but alright. That seems to happen sometimes. Here, have a stun. Slowly, gently. Now just the two snakes came. left. Nice one. What's the crit buff for the Musketeer? Plus 33% damage versus marked targets. Oh, that is nice. Unfortunately, I can't mark targets with anyone here. I don't think I have this skill. Yeah, this one. We are almost done. Are you dead yet? Resisted the bleed, really? Alright, whatever. Oh, that's the blight again, damn it. Oh, and he hit 100 stress, whoops. That is not amazing. But we can handle it. Okay, we got the scales. That's the important part. Shimmering scale, shield breaker only. Yeah, sure, I will definitely take that. Plus 5% stress is not amazing, but plus 10% protection is nice. So, let's move on, we need two more medicine. Hopefully we won't have to go very far to get it, but I guess we'll see. I'm keeping anti-venom for curious, in case you're wondering. And we got some brigands. Okay then. Yeah, we need some healing. Right about now. I'm talking to you. Okay, he dodged, good. I think group heal will be a little bit better. We can also use patch up. Oh, he's going to refuse, damn it. Okay, well, we can still use it on someone else. Yeah, I need him to not refuse heals. I don't want to lose another shield breaker. Certainly not. Let's just use that bandage, whatever. And then what? We can land a blight. Here. That's 7 damage per round already. We're going to need a good heal on him. Yep, that's the bleed again. That was going to happen. So don't refuse heal. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's bad. He might actually die. Not happy about that. Not at all. If we get unlucky, he will die. 
there. Now it worked. And he got the buff. That's why he will get more healing for the next few rounds. Surely some of the heals will land. I kind of hope we'll get our medicine soon, because there are a lot of rooms ahead of us. Yep, death's door. I won't be surprised if he dies. Yep, I knew it. That was just bad luck. But alright. We might have to leave without getting that medicine, but we'll see about that. We can heal ourselves. Let's maybe do that. Here, that's much better. The blood letter is basically dead now. He will die from the bleed and from the blight. We don't have to worry about that. He might leave a corpse behind though. A victory. No, he will not. The turning point. I'm not sure if we will be able to finish this without the shield breaker. It kind of sucks that we lost him. I've been really unlucky with shield breakers. I don't know what's up with that. We'll get a third one eventually. <laughs> I assume. So unfortunately, at least one person in our group needs to be in a very suboptimal position now. Either the Vestal or the Musketeer. There's just literally no way around it. It has to be one of them. Come on, hurry up. I'd like to be done with this already. Great, he resisted the stun. And he only has 20% stun resist too. That's better. Yeah, he's dead. Done. Right, I don't think I can grab all my old loot. Or maybe I can. Some of it. Let's keep the vial. I have to destroy something. Fine. Alright, let's try to move on. But I don't know how much longer we can keep it up. No idea. I don't have any other skills. Actually, yeah, I do. Here, we can do it like this. At least that gives her another useful skill. Okay, looks clear. We'll get some info. There's a trap. Quest location, right. Okay, so that's another medicine. We'll probably trigger the trap because we have very low trap disarm skill, only 20%. More food, that is actually useful to heal ourselves with. Here, you're fine. In we go. Okay, so we need one more medicine. But now again, I have to destroy something. Not the scale, that's for sure. Let's destroy the bandages. We need one more. There's a fight in the next room, unfortunately. Not too happy about that. Not at all. She is going to open it. That wasn't me, that was her. Beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. We might still be fine, I don't know. It will depend on what exactly this next fight is going to be. Uh, okay, Fusilier, Cutthroat and Brigand. Yeah, I mean, Bloodletter. At least we surprised them, so there's that. Let's try a stun. There we go. So we'll have to kill the blood rather first. Because otherwise the flagellant won't be able to hit anything else. And let's try to focus on him. That was a good start. If we find the other medicine quickly, we'll be fine. That's the thing about this quest type. It can be very quick or it can be super slow. Especially since you can also find the quest items in the corridors. On this map it's not a problem, 
but it certainly can be a problem. He is almost dead. Yep, he's dead now. Nice. Well done. So far. We're not done yet. You know what would be nice? A crit healer, though. I'll take it. Okay, resisted the bleed, good. No corpse. Alright, people. Let's get this done. Stun again. And increase our light level. Come on, kill that fusilier already. That will do. Alright. And a little bit of extra healing wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's do that. That will definitely help. No point trying a stun because he has extra resist now. A little bit too much extra resist. One more turn should do. Yeah, 12 damage. Not good. I'd like a group heal before we kill him. Oh, come on! Another one? Yeah, great. We took 24 damage in two rounds. That's terrible. Four damage. So he will die, no matter what I do. Yep. Okay, that's a lot of loot, and there's no way I can pick it all up. I can take Gambler's Charm. Plus 15% maximum health. I can't take anything else. No. We can, however, open the chest. And then get this more stuff that we can't carry. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in I would have to destroy something. I'm just not really willing to do that. No, I'm really not. Let's just move on. And find the last medicine. We'll see, maybe we'll get lucky, who knows? Yep, there's another fight in the room ahead of us. Not good. Oh hey, we got a map. Maybe now we'll see where it is. Yeah, we still can't see it, damn it. That's just unlucky. So there's a fight in the corridor, I can't avoid it. I can heal myself up a little. We got a lot of food, actually. There's another full stack over there. Here, that will have to do, unfortunately. Let's use up that shovel to get more inventory space. If I run into an obstacle, I'll just leave. Okay, one ectoplasm and two skeletons. That's fine. And to even surprise them. Alright, so that definitely won't be a problem. Should be pretty easy. One down. Kill the ectoplasm. Before it starts multiplying. I think we can still do this. I mean, we got three characters who have some forms of heal. Back to the pit. I'm mostly worried about stress. Full inventory again, but 600 gold. That is tempting. I'll take the gold, thanks. Onwards. Okay, just some spiders. That's fine, I can deal with that. Could have been much worse. That's probably one of the easier room fights we could possibly get right now. Alright, let's try to kill them quickly. One is already dead. 25% stun resist. And we can do a little bit of damage as well as increase our light level. 
Yep, 17 critical. Come on. Really? Yeah, really. I still got anti-venom. I think I'm just going to use it to free the inventory slot. If we'll need it for a curio, then we just won't have it, I suppose. Oh, seriously now? Yeah, okay, if we lose the musketeer as well, then we are definitely leaving, no question about that. Like, I'm leaving instantly if that happens. Okay. Didn't happen yet. But we need that heal right now. Seriously? Why did she take a shot on her own? She doesn't have an affliction? That was very weird. Well, never mind. Heal her up. Not happy about this. Heal up again. Otherwise she'll hit zero after the stick. I still need to use that anti-venom. That's way too much blight. Way too much. Okay then, what's this? Plus 15% bleed skill chance. Right, I will take that. Definitely. And I guess that's it. I really don't have enough space for the rest. Here, now we have space. So, let's move on. We got at least one more fight to do. And that trap we probably won't be able to deactivate. We got 20% trap disarm and that's it. That's the highest we got. It's not amazing, but it will have to do. There's the trap. Oh, we actually disarmed it. Well done. Alright, this could be the last fight right here in the corridor. Okay, two scratchers and an acolyte. That is pretty nasty, actually. Let's maybe stun the acolyte. I don't want too much extra stress, for obvious reasons. And she definitely needs to die first, no question about that. Okay, decent. We need six more damage. So one more aimed shot, basically. And then the scratchers. I kind of need a heal now. The wounds of war can be healed. I'm glad I got upgraded group heal. That's certainly helping. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, that's just great. Not looking good. Unfortunately, I can't reach the Acolyte with the Flagellant. But we almost killed the Scratcher, we did kill the Scratcher. Yeah, and now I can't use any skill whatsoever. You know what, let's use that stupid scale. I don't like it, but I also don't want to lose my Musketeer. We would be slightly screwed. I mean, I would have to retreat immediately if that happened. Kill the Acolyte! Nope, not quite, damn it! Well, at least there's no corpse. That's a positive, but we'll get even more stress. Fortunately, stress doesn't matter too much for the Flagellant. But still, I would have preferred to kill the Acolyte on the previous turn. I'm just saying. Can't use aimed shot, unfortunately. I can't use much of anything. Not against a guy in the front. Now he's dead. From the bleed. We can do one more heal. I hope this will be the last fight that we'll have to do. Done. 
No inventory space, sorry. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Oh hey, we got a torch. Give me the medicine. It's going to be in the last room. Oh, come on. Well, I don't have a choice. I have to clear it by hand. That was so unlucky. And still no medicine. It's going to be in the last room. Just watch it. It will be the last room. Tell me there's no fight in here. Okay, we found it. Good. Alright, we are actually done now, but I have to destroy something. I can't equip the vial because that's shield breaker only. So, yeah, I need to destroy something. Slightly annoying, because there's nothing I'm willing to destroy. I need the deeds, I need the crests, I need the portraits. Let's destroy the busts. Alright, done. Well, that was an interesting run, certainly. Sucks about the shield breaker, but that was just bad luck. It happens. We made 6000. Could have been worse. And now we'll be able to use the sanitarium for free. That's certainly part of the reward. Let's take a look. Normally it's quite expensive, so... Let's see what we want to remove. What's the worst disease somebody has? We do have a chance to remove extra diseases. Just something to keep in mind. I think I'll go with that Vestal over there. Oh, this one is pretty bad. Yeah, that one is... well... I don't know. Yeah, let's go with the Vestal because we have a chance to remove both. And they are both fairly bad. Here you go. And then, we can remove one quirk. There are quite a few really bad ones that I wouldn't mind getting rid of. We should remove one of these, because they are normally very expensive to remove. But now we can do it for free. Let's see. Need to find one that's really bad. Yeah, not that one. Nope. No. Ruins fob? No. No, no. No. Nope. There's nothing that bad in here. Off guard is pretty bad, but... Okay, not yet. Nope. Does nobody have anything really bad to remove? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, in that case, we need to remove something. Fading. Minus 2 speed, minus 5 dodge. That is kind of bad. Yeah, minus 2 speed is pretty bad. We could remove that one. Minus 5 accuracy. Yeah, that's not amazing. Let's remove the accuracy penalty, it's fine. There, done. Alright, check the stagecoach. We got a shield breaker again. Well then. <laughs> that was funny. That's the third one now. Don't tell him what happened to his predecessors. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.